Okay, hello, welcome back to um, the next part of the video which is how to make the stems for your paper roses. So, say you've got all your paper roses, you probably have more than, than I have here. You need to um, take the green garden wire, so it looks like this, and you need to measure from your wrist to your elbow, fold it in half, measure it back down to your wrist and then cut. So, you probably have about 60 centimetres of um, wire altogether folded in half. Then you need to leave a little loop at the top and twist the rest of the wire together. You're essentially making a stronger piece of garden wire. I did think for a while that you could use wooden doweling, like green wooden doweling, but I'm not sure that it's... Um, I'm not sure it would work as well. These would not be suitable for small children because with the beads and wire it's not very safe so don't go putting them in your kid's bedroom or something. When you've done that you should have a piece like this with your little loop at the end. Oops, it's gone out of focus. And the end's just free. Then you need to let me just move these out of the way. Let me just zoom in a little bit. You need to take a piece of paper. This is an A4 piece of paper. Um, in any green you want, I have lots of different greens. And you need to fold it in three, like so. Then when you've unfolded it, you need to figure out how big you want your petals to be. So say about, you want the square paper to surround the rows, like this. Do that for your whole piece of paper. So, let's do. Now this A4 piece of paper gives um, 3 by 4, 12 squares like so um, and then you can cut them out with a knife but I'm just going to do it really quickly with these scissors like so so your rows can sit quite happily on there then what you want to do is roughly fold it point to point And then if you folded it one way, because these aren't ever perfect, um, these aren't ever perfect squares, when you fold it the other way, just make sure you line up the line rather than the rather than the point. So then you can neaten up your cross so that the creases go to the edges. This is a slapdash way of doing it. If anyone has a better way, then fair play. So then you've got this shape here. Then what you want to do is snip a little cross about three millimeters, four millimeters uh, in the middle, because you're gonna poke um, your piece of wire through there. And then you're going to cut out A little triangle on each of the flat edges. I don't make them symmetrical, I don't do any measuring, life's too short. So you end up with uh, this shape. Then uh, you want to fold the leaves down a little bit so you get a bit of shape. This is the end piece that you're left with. And then you can see when it goes onto the rows, it's going to look really pretty. You get your piece of wire and you've left your little, where will I put it? Okay. You get your piece of wire and you've left your little uh, loop at the top. 
So this loop is go. Ooh, still not used to the camera. This loop is going to tuck into one of the creases that you previously made and then stick out of the center. So this is where your super glue comes in. You need a surface to work on so that you don't get super glue everywhere. I would not be happy. I need to work on. Okay, so here's just a envelope. So you put some super glue onto your loop. You can use a glue gun, but glue guns get really stringy and then you end up with strings everywhere. So find um, a crease that's quite tight and just shove it in there. You can put a tiny bit more glue to seal it, like so. Then you take your... Um, leaf, turn it upside down, thread it through the little cuts that you made, dab a bit more super glue on your rose, I'm talking dots of super glue here, and then attach that, and then you put more super glue around the base, like so, and then you take your beads that I told you to get. These are just regular clear um, beads. You can get them at any craft shop. You could do them the same color as uh, your rose or the green that you're using. I did clear because I was doing lots of different types of roses. The glue's probably dry by now. But then to finish the whole thing, you just thread that on and hold it until the glue's dried. And that way you don't see the hole that you've made or any of the magic. You just have your little rose like that. So um, you do that with all of them. Just be really careful with the super glue. I know I super glued. It got on my hands and my rings and I stuck my fingers together and I cried. So be really careful with the super glue. And if you're doing this with a child, do the super glue part yourself. Um, and then when you've done them all, I store them in a box like this. And I have some vases. Let me just go get one. So I bought some green. Okay, I'm back. So I bought some green uh, glass bottles like this just... Uh, I think I got these from Lakeland in the UK, um, a couple of pounds each. And then when everything has dried, these, when you've got all your roses, you just start adding them into your vase. I find it helps if you have a, um, a vase that's got a small top to it so you can really adjust them. So for this size bottle, I did 25 flowers. Some of them are going to hang really low, and then you build, you build it up like your flower arranging. had these in storage for a while so one of the heads has come off plus they had to get through a wedding and they look really geometric and really origami and really cool I think I obviously thought they looked cool I did them for the wedding 
just keep filling them in and threading, uh, filling the gaps. I won't keep going because <laughs> that'll be completely boring. Um, but yeah, and there you go. That's your vase of flowers. Um, so hopefully now you can display them all brilliantly and um, and enjoy having them and give them to somebody you love or uh, keep them in your house and look at them every day um, or do what I do and just keep them in a box. <laughs> Um, so thank you very much, uh, I'm going to do the video next about the really tricky parts that people aren't really getting used to, so watch out for that. And uh, you can see my blog, I am the papershaper.blogspot.com. Okay, bye!